Welcome to this video. Here, we want to show you how the availability of an ET200SP station in combination with S7-1500H redundant system can now be significantly increased. The standard setup of an ET200SP station is based on a single interface and I.O. modules. This interface is used for the Profinet communication with the S7 controller. In case of interface module failure, the communication is interrupted, and many I.O. signals are lost. For some applications, such failure can damage or destroy the product manufactured and generate considerable loss of revenue, as well as brand image. Therefore, for such applications, a higher availability is required for the ET200SP station. To increase the station availability, Siemens has introduced with TIA Portal version 18 a new redundant solution based on Profinet system redundancy R1. Thanks to an additional interface module, the station can redundantly communicate over two different paths with the controller S7-1500H. If one interface fails, the remaining interface module will take over the communication and therefore, there is no impact on the customer process. The user has nothing to do, the redundancy management of this or one solution is executed automatically by the firmware of the ET200SP station and the H controller. As example, we will use the line topology. This topology consists of a redundant controller S7-1500H, a redundant network in line, and ET200SP stations as R1 device. By design a station R1 has a redundant interface module on board. The first interface module belongs to the line 1, and the second one, to the line 2. This solution can tolerate a CPU failure, Profinet line interruption, as well as an interface module or subnet failure. Let us show you, the mounting of an ET200SP station as R1 device. First, install the system rail R1 in your cabinet. Different lengths are available. Plug on the rail the base unit type M0, dedicated for ET200SP R1 configuration. This one has two slots for the redundant interface module connection. Plug also on the rail all base units of the I.O. module configuration, as well as the server module. At this step, every base units required for the customer application are connected together. Plug into the base unit the first interface module R1. Then the second one. As every ET200SP interface, plug and screw a bus adapter to each interface module. Last step, plug the I.O. modules of the customer configuration. The mounting is now completed. Our configuration example is the following one. A redundant system based on CPU 1517H, and three R1 stations. Such configuration is done in four steps. Step 1. In your TIA project add a new redundant controller. Here a CPU 1517H. And adapt the security setting required for your application. To be noted, the default MRP configuration is not device in the ring, therefore there is by default no MRP configuration for H controller. Step 2. Add and configure your R1 devices. Here is an example, one station ET200SP with redundant interface and the I.O. module configuration. The three R1 devices are now configured. Step 3. Assign the stations to both redundant controllers. The R1 I.O. stations are now multi-assigned. Step 4. Compile and save your TIA project. The line topology with R1 devices is now ready and you can start the programming of your application. The topology configuration is optional, but this one will simplify the Profinet name assignment. Don't forget with our R1 station, there are two IP addresses, and therefore two different Profinet names per station. To be noted, Profisafe modules are supported by ET200SP with interface module R1. Therefore, the line topology with stations R1 can be also used for failsafe application. Here a similar example with CPU 1518HF and Profisafe IO devices. For our first explanation, the line topology was used. But topology with redundant MRP ring is also supported. In TIA portal, both interface module must be configured as MRP client of the rings. 
The Profinet watchdog time should be also adapted to the MRP reconfiguration time. Except that MRP configuration, everything is done in the same way as the line topology. Thank you for your attention, and goodbye.